Make it a great day, brother. Make it a great day, TPJ. Let's go. Let's go. Make it great, man. Make it great. Go. Push yourself. Push those around you. Come on, Steven. Get after today. Let's go. Come on. Be a great leader today. Come on, big boy. Let's go. Be a great leader today, Lamar. Come on. Got to have it. Got to have it. I remember my dad telling me early, he says, one of the best things I could ever teach you is to understand and learn how to work and outwork everyone around you. My parents actually had come over from Cuba. You get to a country where you don't understand, don't know the language at all, and you have to start from scratch again at the age they were. That's, um, that's quite a challenge now. Let's go, man. Come on, young man. Come on, young man. They never made any kind of excuse. They just approached it and attacked it. And, and my brother and I, we were just infused with that type of DNA. We had to bring home Asia. We had to go with the old man down to the car battery shop and, you know, replacing and rebuilding some motors. And that was okay. Push yourself, push your teammate. Get better, man, get better. The most physical team in the conference. That's it, that's the only goal. No nonsense, no head fakes. Just work, brother, just work. One way, one way only. In order to go to great places, you need to be pushed. Ready, go. Coach Crystal Ball, he demands excellence. He's always going to ask for more, no matter whether you're a Heisman Trophy winner or if you're a scout team player. Let's go. Let's go, brother. Let's go. Right, let's go. You can go. actually see the passion, the fire of what he wants out of a program. He understands what it takes, the daily work, the process. Uh, there's no more smoke and mirror. Hey! Our guys are buying into the culture. They, they like the harder workouts. They like the harder practices. They like doing things the hard way because they feel it on game day. They see it on game day. Physical, brother, physical, physical, physical. Right there, lift it, lift it, lift it. Yes. Nice job. That'll way to grind. That'll way to grind right there. That'll way to grind right there. That'll way to grind. Nice job. Being a college football player while being at the University of Miami, that was, it was the epitome of you know, being a student athlete. It was, it was everything you would want and could dream of in a college experience. As I was an offensive lineman, so I didn't have the swag, you know, the rest of my boys had, but that led to, um, to an urge to, you know, possibly enter the coaching field. I had the opportunity to go with Greg Schiano to Rutgers University. I was part of helping turn around that program, and then I got my first head coaching opportunity at FIU. We were able to do a lot of hard work, win a conference title just under four years later, and, and found myself at the University of, of Alabama. That's where I found the opportunity to, so to speak, get a PhD in coaching. And, you know, I, I got a call from Oregon and asked to be a, the co-coordinator, you know, for the run game. I visited and I, I knew right away I wanted to be here. I wanted to be part of it. Come on, be a grinder. Get after it. Ready. Last year, you know, Coach Taggart um, made the decision to head to Florida State. You know, one thing that hit me first is like, man, I really love it here. I really love it here at Oregon. I, oh, I don't, I don't want this thing to stop. Here you go, sideline, sideline, sideline. Let's go, sprint, 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 Ryan, sprint, sprint, sprint. Coach Cristobal last year, he was our head offensive line coach, so he basically he was in our room every single day with us, and we got to know him really well, and uh, we saw the certain characteristics in him that made him a good coach, and we said, you know, we need the entire team to see this. So we had, you know, a player-only meeting where we said, hey, we're gonna sign a petition. Basically said that we have a really special opportunity to hire a head coach that the players want. So there's a guy here back home that would really suit the job well. We got almost every single signature on the entire team. And now we ended up being head coach. It is an honor and a pleasure to introduce the new head football coach at the University of Oregon, Mario Cristobal. I am uh, beyond humbled and honored to be here today as a head football coach of the University of Oregon. And, you know, oftentimes in these situation in these press conferences, the players get lost in the shuffle. And I'm a big fan of always making sure that the staff and the players are at the forefront of everything, especially when you show gratitude. And I can't thank them enough. And besides the fact and the support, uh, the support that they showed, 
the energy and the enthusiasm that they brought to the table during this time. Uh, it's humbling beyond words. Wow, is what I had to say to start this thing off because, uh, man, you know, you get humbled beyond words can describe in a hurry. Truly, truly grateful, appreciative of every ounce of support. Every coach in this building, myself, the number one goal is to have your trust fully and not based on BS and not just, hey, man, let's, we're boys, trust me. It's not the way it works. Because when I sat in your shoes, I want a dude that when whatever hits the fan, that I can go to. And that's how families are built. That's the only way to do it, man. I'm in it for no other reason, no other way. And you're gonna get it all. You're a championship individual. You're gonna get our best. So make no doubt about it, brother. We coming. We don't really have any mantras around the building, you know. We have a blue collar mindset founded on discipline, hard work, and dedication. And that's all we basically have, and that's ever since the first day of the meeting. Here we go. Hey, two foot hop, ready! Most of our guys are internally motivated. They don't need me to go crank them up for practice, but not everybody has a good day every single day. You gotta try to get four sets in eight minutes. So my goal is to make sure that every guy, I can keep them at a certain level. Hey, hey, go, ooh. Let's go! If you have pride in yourself, pride in your program, pride in your coaches, pride in what you do as an athlete, then you're going to give good effort. Bam, 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 bam. That's what attack is. That's what attack is. We don't undermine the detail. We don't undermine the effort. You know, you gotta have some emotions about this game and some passion for it. Uh, otherwise, you know, it, it just don't work. I see you five, five. I see you five, five. Hey. You know, when you have transparency and real and truth, right, it makes it right easy now. to feed off of one another because everybody shares the same uh, love and passion for our guys and making sure that we're, as coaches, continue to challenge ourselves to be able to teach. I'm just uh, humbled to be a part of that. Word coach to us really means teacher. We have the greatest classroom that they'll ever take part in. The lessons that we get to teach them, you know, that, that comes with heartache, that comes with moments of unbelievable joy, and it comes with the ups and downs that you, you can't duplicate it. Not even, not even Hollywood can you duplicate the things that come with being a, you know, a student athlete. But my high school coach to this day is still the best coach I've ever had, ever been around, ever had a chance to play for. And I always vowed to myself, if I was a coach, I was gonna be one of those guys that players remember, like, man, I, I wanna be that coach that they talk about. It's like, hey, man, that's, that's the best coach I had. So uh, that's always a goal. That's always a goal. So that's why we don't, uh, we don't take a single day for granted. The Drive, shot with Canon EOS cameras and lenses. Coming this season on The Drive. We go behind the scenes of every football program in the Pac-12. It's about smashing someone in the face every single play. To tell the most compelling stories of the players and coaches in the Conference of Champions. For the most in-depth access with your team, watch The Drive on Pac-12 Network.